when this watch came out it produced very mixed results when it came to tracking heart rate now almost a year later with an update to fix this issue let's see how this watch performs in this samsung galaxy watch 4 heart rate accuracy test video i will also be telling you about some heart rate monitoring settings and tips that you should look into in the later part of the video let's start with the heart rate accuracy test first I have right here with me an oximeter which is pretty accurate when it comes to tracking your heart rate. It is supposed to be worn on the middle finger or the thumb of the right hand to get the most accurate reading. So I will be doing three tests with the watch. In the first test I will wear the watch and oximeter in my right hand. The second test will be in my left hand. In the third test I will be putting the watch against Garmin 245M as well. Let's start with the first test. Everything looks ready to go. So let's begin. As you can see watch 4 is pretty close and going head to head with an oximeter. Now it's time to switch to the left hand. So I am ready, the watch is ready and oximeter is ready. So let's begin the test. As you can see that the watch is performing pretty well even on the left hand. Now let's see how well it fares when it is compared with Garmin 245 Music. In the sub $300 price segment, I am impressed by this watch's performance. So let's see whether or not Galaxy Watch 4 can match its performance. So let's start with the test. As you can see, the watch is performing pretty decent and going neck to neck with Garmin. So that was the heart rate accuracy test of Watch 4. I am quite impressed by it. How do you feel about your Watch 4 accuracy? Do tell me in the comment section down below. You can also check my Garmin 245M accuracy test video using the i button. So now we are done with the heart rate accuracy test video, it's time to show you some useful Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 heart rate monitoring settings. Open the Galaxy Variable app on your smartwatch, head on to the watch settings then go to Samsung Health. Now you will see the heart rate option, tap on it. On the next screen you will get the option to measure heart rate continuously every 10 minutes or initiate the test only manually. Depending on the requirement you can change this setting. You can also set heart rate alerts on the watch if you want your heart rate to not cross a particular threshold. It can be a very useful tool to keep an eye on your heart rate if you need that for health reasons. I won't say that this or any other smartwatch out there is a great alternative to a medical grade device. However, if you need it for training, then this can be a great tool for you. Another great feature that Samsung Health offers you is the ability to export your heart rate data. Open the Samsung Health app and tap on the heart rate section. You will see a three dot menu button in the corner. Click on it and click on export data. Now you can select the period of data in which you want to export your heart rate. You can choose between the last two weeks, last month, last two months and last three months options. The next option is to choose which format you want to export the file. I will recommend going with PDF as it is easily shareable. In the PDF you will be able to see your resting, exercising and general heart rate. So folks that was it for today. Hopefully you found this video useful and if you did then don't forget to press that like button. I will also be coming out with some other amazing videos like this on Galaxy Watch 4 in the upcoming weeks. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you here next time.